Chana Pillow here. I am here to do a mukbang um, on, this is what, lunch? Yeah, this is lunch. I made everything myself except for the shrimp. Shrimp, they're already shelled and they're ready to go. I bought these at the grocery store. I didn't make those. Steak, I made that. And if my steak is dry, that's the way I like it dry. I don't like any A1 sauce or any kind of sauce whatsoever. I have some butter for my shrimp, and I have some deviled eggs, and I also have pork rinds as a snack. Um, I'm doing a low-carb diet because I need to shed a few pounds, so hence, that's why there's no um, carbs um, on my plate today, or on my menu today. First, let me um, take my vitamins. This is my first meal of the day. What time is it today? What time is it right now? I think it's not even, I, don't, I think it's just after 11. It's just after 11. So I'm taking my vitamins. I'm taking fish oil. Take it every day with meal. And my biotin. Take some water. See how juicy and tender my arms, my steak is. Look at that. And it's cooked all the way through. It's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Like I said, I like my steak dry. I don't like sauce. I don't need sauce. Mm, sauce is okay, but I just rather have it without sauce. I can easily sh it's very tender. I can easily shed it without um, too much of a fight. Alright. And my shrimp. So this is actually zero carbs, except probably maybe the shrimp. Maybe the shrimp because I don't know what seasoning they used on it. But everything I prepared is zero carbs. The devil eggs was giving me a hard time to shell them. They kept trying to fall apart while I was trying to unshell them. I know you're supposed to, after you boil the eggs, you're supposed to let them cool before you shed them, you, you know, unshell them, but I let them cool for a little while, but they still were still warm, so they were giving me a hard time. Now, let's see what to talk about. Talk about my favorite subject, me. <laughs> Kidding. That's too big a bite. I need to cut the steak smaller. That's too much. I have to boil more eggs because I'm going to make some more devil eggs to take to work tomorrow. Okay, we can talk about me. to start. Born in Jamaica. I came to the States with my family when I was 11. I grew up in New York. After I graduated high school, went to the military, went to the army. I 
was in the army for eight years. Mm, it's so good. But my husband, I have had two husbands. With the first one in the army, we were young. I think when I met him, I was 20. Married. Went to Germany. By the way, we met in Kentucky. We were both stationed at Kentucky. Fort Campbell, Kentucky. And then we got married, went to Germany. When we, were, when we were in Germany, I got pregnant. I was pregnant with twins. Marriage didn't work out. We split up. I had twin boys. Not identical. And then we split up. My next duty station was I'd gotten out of the military for a little while. After I had the boys, I had twin boys, I had my boys, went back into the military, went to training in Maryland, Aberdeen, and then, okay, where did I go? Where did I go to Aberdeen? How long ago? Mm, Germany. I went back to Germany. A different area though, not the same area I was with my husband. Different area in Germany. Hmm. Back to Germany. Hmm. I went to Saudi. I think we left Germany and went to Saudi. I think I left Germany and went to Saudi. Yeah. I was in Germany. We went to Saudi. About six months. Came back to Germany. And then went to Louisiana. Fort Polk, Louisiana. Mm. After that, went to Texas. Went to Texas. Love Fort Hood, Texas. Love that place. Party. Had a great time. That's duty station. And we're going to out of the military. Went back to New York. Such is life. Met my second husband through a friend of mine that lived in Maryland, in Baltimore. Was living across the street from this guy. She decided she wanted to introduce me to him. Met him. We dated for a little while. I was in New York. He was in um, Baltimore. On weekends, he'd come visit me. I'd come visit him. Take turns back and forth. And a year into it, we got married. Another mistake. After after maybe five years, divorced again. Well, that's it. Now, I'm in Maryland. Going on Baltimore. South of Baltimore. Mm -hmm. 
is like what else can I tell you what about me <laughs> love reality shows love them love them love them I don't know why my father tells me that majority of them are um, fake and doctorate, and of course, yeah, they are. But still love them. I still love reality shows. I used to watch every single one of them too, but they started to get too ratchet for me. I used to watch the Housewives, Basketball Wives, Love and Hip Hop. What's the other one? With the tattoos. Black and crew. I started watching, started out watching um, Real World and Road, Road, what is it, Road, Road Rules or something like that. That was a spin off from Real World. Started watching them, but it's too much, too many fighting. Bad girl club. We watch all of that. But all the fist, the physical fist fighting just started getting on my nerves, so I quit watching that stuff. So now I'm watching 90 Day Fiance, Love After Lockup, Right Zillow. Love Zillow. I'm not too old to watch all that dumb fist fighting. Fist cuffs. <laughs> so yeah, mostly I watch 90 Day Fiance, Love After Lockup, Right Zillow. I tried to watch that. Girl screws with um, Lil Kim and T Bars and Maya. It was kind of dull. I watched like two episodes. I quit watching. Kind of dull. I love Lil Kim. I love Maya. And I love. Not T Bars. Chili. I love Chili. But it's kind of dull. Um, quit watching after two episodes. I watched Big Brother. I used to watch Big Brother and Amazing Race. But I quit watching and um Survivor. I had quit watching Survivor. I mean Race and Big Brother. But I started watching Big Brother again since Tamar been on there. I started watching again, so I'm watching this episode. It comes on tonight as a matter of fact. And a new 90 day fiance comes on tonight. Oh my shoes are all gone. This is so good. So a new 90 day fiance. 90 Day Fiancé come on tonight, 90 Day Before the, no, what is it? Before the 90 Days. 90 Day Fiancé Before the 90 Days. I don't wait, and Big Brother comes on tonight too. I don't wait. Mm-hmm. That's it about me. Basically. Right now I'm single. And I date. I um used to be on match, but I'm not on match anymore. Now I'm on POF, plenty of fish. I'm gonna get ready to get off of that site. I'm getting ready to get on Cupid. Cupid.com. I'm gonna get on that one. This thing. Been on dates. It was fun to date. Met a lot of guy friends through dating. Nice. Never yeah, don't have any really bad stories about date, uh, dating online. Had some ones that totally didn't work out, but it wasn't bad. They were they weren't good, but they weren't bad to where you know um, something horrible happened. You know. I watch this um YouTube, I'm not gonna say her name. When she does mop bomb, she lick all ten fingers and it, it irritates me. <laughs> I love to watch her, but the story I don't like about it, she like, mm, 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 mm. And 
I don't think she does it because there's something on her fingers. There's food on her fingers. I think she does it because of a habit. Because sometimes she doesn't use one hand to touch any food, and she ends up licking that hand anyway. <sighs> and I don't think she realizes she does it. But she licks all ten fingers. I used to date this one guy, and he used to do the same thing, lick all his fingers. But, you know, he'd get his hand in there. He was from Mississippi. Southern boy. Southern guy. And he'd get all ten fingers in there, and he'd lick every single one. And I used to say, would you like a napkin? He'd like, my tongue is my napkin. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, that's a little bit about me. I have a million and one hobbies. A million and one hobbies. I like to make jewelry. I like to make candles. I like to crochet. I like to sew. What else I like to do? I got so many hobbies. Make baskets. <laughs> okay, I'm getting full. Me in a nutshell, my pork rinds. I like the big ones. I don't like the tiny ones. Like these, the tiny ones are so hard. They're so hard. I like the big ones like this. Like that. Mm-hmm. Nice big ones. Like that. Mm -hmm. They're not hard. They're light. These are good stuff to do for potato chips because I like the crunch. I like to hear the crunch. I like to feel the crunch. Mm. I don't take these to work to eat them because these are actually messy. I will get them all over the place. And they're too loud. Me and my office crunch and crunch. Too loud. So I don't usually take any of these to work with me. Mm -hmm. That is it. Oh, another hobby. I read a um, historical romance novels. Oh, love them. I don't know why I love that era. I love to read historical romance novels. Okay, I didn't eat too much. Okay. Prince Sunapil here. Thank you very much for watching. I think I'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow is Monday. I have to go to work, so I don't know if I'll be doing a, another mukbang well, on Monday or on the weekday. Because usually when I come home from work, I just grab something simple, shove it in my mouth, and I'm just chilling for the rest of the day. But Prince Sunapil here. Thank you very much for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.